All right, what's going on, everybody? They got all my charts back up, every single one of them, and it looks to me like they're all up to date. It's 11.31 a.m. on the East Coast, and this is reporting uh, 7 a.m. Uh, on the West Coast time, so it does look current to me, and it's uh, lakes.orville.lakes.online.com. It's showing, uh, this, this is what this one is, it's showing 895.13 so that leaves you with 4.87 foot that's not very much and um the inflows and outflows start right here this is what they're letting out so that 5,000 to 7,000 5,000 to 7,000 you know back and forth over and over you can see they went from 7,400, and it, that's probably you know an increase from where they was letting out 7,000, and they uh, moved it up to nearly 9,000, and then up here it peaked at 9,925, and this is um 29th to 31st chart. So um starts out it's, it's basically about a 24 hour chart so if you take the 9,900 that was about 25 percent of this and then you got 8,800 I would say the average would be just over 9,000 I, I mean uh, yeah maybe, maybe 9,200 for the average 9,500 if I'm being generous and then here we have the inflows that was the outflows we were looking at now as you can see the um, I don't know if you can see it good or not but the lowest outflow for this chart and this is a 30 to 31st chart so it's <clears throat> definitely a 24 hour chart the other one uh, was more like a 48 hour chart that's 9,000 for the low end and uh, the maximum was uh, 13,500 and if I'm looking at this I'm seeing about an average you know somewhere around 10,800 to 11,000 and it looked around nine nine and a half thousand average for the uh, outflow so I'm saying about a, a, a 1,500 cubic foot a second more is uh, coming into it than going out so this right here is you know that's gonna you know still go up slowly and not not real fast but this uh steadily every couple hours going up like 0.1 or 0.05 and stuff like that some something, something along those lines <clears throat> And I got my data back up for this now It shows I don't know what each and every one of these are but it's got your uh, rainfall That's something I noticed uh, It's showing that Orville not just anywhere in California. This is this is Orville data. Let me see if right there oval down something I never read out to y'all starting on um, April 15th it says beginning April well it's dated April 15th but it says beginning April uh, 12th 2019 at 4 in the afternoon reservoir elevation and storage are not transmitting correctly data is being flagged automatically that's been on there the whole time, but what I was saying is, uh, for your rain, it's saying y'all got a quarter inch of rain, so that, that would be showing up, you know, today or tomorrow, it was, uh, rain from yesterday on the 30th, it went from, uh, 46.79 inches for the year to 47.05. That's, that's almost exactly a quarter of an inch of rain.
I mean, a, a quarter of a foot, no, a quarter of an inch, I don't know where my head's at, but, um, right here's the main thing I've been looking at. Now, I, I, I thought that this right here, since it matches up, this is 3,460,000 cubic foot of storage. That's how much water is in it right now. Now, it goes up to 3,537. So, when you add that up, you, you'll come up with this number here. But this isn't the... I, I don't understand what, what that number is actually for because if you look at the top of it, it's saying that, you know, there was less than um, 100,000 acre foot left when the storage was uh, lower. So I don't really know what this uh, number here is for, but it, it's right on the money for some reason that uh, that's how much uh, acre foot you have left in a 3.5 million acre foot um Reservoir, you have 77,000 acre foot. Uh, 3,537,000, you have 77,000 acre foot left. And uh, you can expect this, uh, this is your uh, actual height, you know, the, everybody's, you know, watching the, the, the 900, you know, level, you know, or limit. That, that's it right there so with this um quarter inch of rain i would expect the the inflows and right here is showing the average outflow and inflow uh yesterday was nine thousand average outflow with eleven thousand cubic foot a second inflow you see that right there so um it, it, yeah, it will be uh, going up in level. It's 2,000 cubic foot a second more going in than coming out. So be expecting this level to go up higher. It's past my comfort zone, but I'm not going to harp on that. Uh, we got some up-to-date information now. It's not saying, um, you know, 4 p.m. yesterday anymore. It's saying 7 a.m. And uh, I believe it is uh, 7.40 where y'all are at right now. It's 11.40 where I'm at. So that looks like good current time. Well, I hope this uh, helps some people out. And just like always, it's, it's not going to change for a while till they uh, stop getting as much in, stop getting more in than they're letting out. So right now... It is more than 10 foot above any level for the last six years. So they have more water to use in the dry season than any year you know, in the past, which is good because, you know, you know, from what I'm always seeing on the news, California is needing more water. I believe they built the Diablo uh, desalination plant for 10% of the water to try to help fight the drought. So... I mean, it, it's, it's good and bad. you got plenty of water for the dry season, but it's a little bit high for my comfort, really. I wouldn't, I wouldn't feel safe buying that much water personally. But um, that's what I got for you now, and I, I hope this helped out some of y'all. And uh, I'll be back on here later today. I got to go doing some work for um, a cousin of mine, work on their car, but... Uh, I'll be back on here later today, and uh, as far as the day, y'all see it's all up and running. Y'all have a good one, and God bless.